The following segment is sponsored by Eastern Title and Settlement and The Mortgage Link. Rent or buy, it is a big decision, particularly for young professionals as they launch their careers and begin shaping their long-term financial plan. Well, joining us today to share their expertise, we have Luke Fleck from Eastern Title and Settlement, Kobe Smith from Chateau Seekers of Keller Williams Capital Properties, along with Kevin Russell from The Mortgage Link, who also just happens to have our deal of the day. What's our deal today, Kevin? Yep, uh, today we have a home-ready conventional 30-year fixed uh, mortgage with a 5.875% interest rate. Uh, that's actually with Ooh. no points. 6.203% uh, APR is for a $450,000 purchase price with just 3% down and with a minimum 740 credit score. Okay, that sounds like a good deal for first first time home buyers. Is that what? Yeah, it, it can be a really good program for first time home buyers. Um, really, it's okay. about income restrictions. Um, so as okay. long as you're below the 80% of the median income in the area, um, yeah. then you can qualify for that home ready program. So it's great okay. for first time home buyers, and it's great to see a rate starting in five again. Yeah, I was that was the other part <laughs> that hasn't happened in a while. Yeah, right? okay. yeah, it's it's fantastic. People good. are starting to jump back in the market, seeing yeah. that. So it's really a, a great time to reach out. But then, Kobe, it makes your job harder. Everyone's back in the market. Yeah. They're all going for the same houses again. Mm -hmm. Is that what you're seeing right now with the competition mm -hmm. in the market? So competition is still staying um, rising, okay. while inventory is still pretty low. Okay. So that's what we're Overall, mm -hmm. yeah. What about for people who are trying to find that balance between should I go rent, should I buy a home? What do you mm -hmm. recommend for the young professionals who are in that mm -hmm. field of debating what to do? So. Going from renting to owning is a big step, mm -hmm. and the young professionals that are able to make it are focused on their finances, they're making sure that their credit score is at least 620, their debt to income ratio is below 36%, and they're saving for a substantial down payment. That's the hard part, right? I know, exactly. Yeah. They're also budgeting beyond the mortgage and making sure that they um, are prepared for transfer tax and property taxes, mm -hmm. insurance, and potential repairs. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, there's a lot that yeah. goes into it, a lot to think about. Are people usually prepared at that age? Do you recommend that so, they go ahead and buy? So usually people, um, it's a learning stage. Being mm -hmm. a young professional, you're learning a lot about everything and um, they are positioning themselves to get ready. And the ones that are able to do it are able to do it earlier. The ones that aren't, then they, we have to help them educate them on how to get ready. Is a starter home a good option for a lot of people in that? Okay, what, yes. what's the difference? Uh, starter home is smaller, I'm assuming, Exactly, right? so okay. a starter home is typically three or less bedrooms. It sometimes has, mm -hmm. um, in the lower end of the market, it's smaller, more affordable, and that allows for the, um, for the starter homes to offer um, lower co closing costs, lower down payments and lower payments, and lower taxes, which help home buyers and young professionals save yeah. for down payment and um, prepare themselves for paying a month managing mortgage. Yeah. And they also allow um, young professionals to get away from rising rents and okay. build equity. True, yeah. Exactly. Luke, I mean, you're closing for a certain mm -hmm. amount, but otherwise you're just throwing the money out the window. Yeah, <laughs> seriously, it re you really are, especially with today's rising rents. I'm personally feeling it myself. I'm one of those young professionals Kobe's talking about okay. who's making the preparations, trying to get into yeah. the market and trying to start saving to make that big down payment and those rising rents are killer. And that's what all the young home buyers who are coming into my settlement tables are saying. They're just so happy to finally be on a mortgage. So how do you do this? So you're still renting but you're also trying to save yeah, at the same I, time? Yeah, I'm lucky. I rent from a mom. So okay, I'm, good. I'm, I'm paying my mom's mortgage. I, okay. I, I'm in a very comfortable position and yeah. not everyone's like that. So, you know, the education, finding a good team to work with and starting now, then later is always the right. best recommendation. That's mm -hmm. tough, Kevin, because when you're just starting, you're probably just starting to collect some money in your bank account. And now you're like, I think about buying a home. Yeah, I mean, for sure. I mean, it's kind of just prioritizing mm -hmm. um, your future so I mean instead of going out and partying and blowing your money on stupid things it's really setting yeah. yourself up for the future and actually building equity in the home yeah. versus just throwing money away for rent and so even if you're starting out in a starter home that can propel you to that next home that could end up being really that dream forever home yeah and this is the long-term financial plan too it's right so if you buy mm -hmm. today what's that mean for your future Kobe so if you're buying today pretty much you're building equity in your home you're benefiting from a appreciation like right. DC DMV area gets a lot of appreciation right so you're building wealth long term 
Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. you want to make those hard choices today are going to pay off exactly. yes. yeah, down the road. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Thank you all. Good luck on your journey. <laughs> I didn't know you were in that Appreciate spot. It. <laughs> um, I know that we have a big conversation that's coming up just about this. We're going to have a more in-depth conversation with mm -hmm. the professionals. You can scan the QR code with your phone's camera to get tickets to a Sip and Invest real estate seminar and wine tasting event. You couldn't have made this more enjoyable to talk about real estate, guys. You can also call 833 mtg link or visit the mortgage link.com <clears throat> oh excuse me for my voice and be sure to follow the real estate top performers on youtube to get more advice on buying and selling a home in today's market